Welcome back to the show. This is Keto Babam. I'm your host Shane, and today we're gonna throw down on some feta cheese with peanut butter. One of my new favorite snacks. What are you gonna need? Well, you're gonna need some low carb peanut butter. In this case, I've got picks. I love picks peanut butter. I'm gonna throw the macros up on the screen. You're also gonna need some feta cheese for this video. I've got this specific feta cheese. Any feta cheese will do. Mm -hmm. I'll throw the macros up on the screen. And you're going to need some type of utensil. Yeah, I got the plastic fork. It's going to do. And you're going to need a bowl. This is my soup bowl. No baking required. Just going to mix the ingredients and enjoy. So let's get to it. All right, so when you first, well, you know this, the good peanut butter, you gotta stir first. So we're gonna stir our peanut butter. The finest utensil one can find. Next up, we're gonna open our feta cheese here. Yeah, scissors help. <laughs> I'm going to use half, right? Half. I may eat the other half later today, I may not. Just gonna take half. Boom! Eyeball it. Looks good to me. Alright. The big secret to counting macros when it comes to peanut butter or anything else you scoop out of a jar, like a mayo for instance, just weigh the jar before use on your food scale. Set it up, the grams, boom, 605 grams, okay? Now I'm going to spoon the peanut butter into my cup, or fork it, and then once I'm done, I'll weigh it again, do some math, this number minus that number, boom, you get your grams, you add up your macros, done! Keep it simple. Look at that, delicious peanut butter, just fork it on up. Get yourself a bite. Mmm. I know what you're thinking. Cheese and peanut butter. Let me tell you. Mmm. It's the perfect combination. I don't know. It's just, you would never think of it, but it just works. Mm. Thanks to the people out there tagging things on Instagram. Uh, it all started with hashtag peanut butter chicken. Since then, I've been putting peanut butter on a lot of things duck eggs, uh, quail eggs, chicken eggs. I put peanut butter on my pork belly, on my chicken. I'm putting it on my cheese. Now it's low carb. It's not just any old jar of peanut butter filled with sugar, all right? This is, let me see. Mm -hmm. Ingredients. Look at the ingredient list. Can you see it? Well, let me turn it around. All right, let's take a look at the ingredient list with Pix Peanut Butter. 100% peanuts, all right? Okay, let's go ahead and have a look at the ingredients on our feta cheese. It's a respectable small list there. 
to celebrate our little snack, I got a little something special. It wasn't a plan, but I, I saw it on my way to the checkout. Diet Samuel. I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Hey. It's all good. Alright? Yes. You don't want to be doing the diet soda all day, every day. But you can spoil yourself every now and then. Alright? There's nothing wrong with that. So, uh, that's all I have. I'm going to get back to enjoying my snack. Mmm. No bacon. Just put it together. Eat it. It's like how I like to do it. Mm. That's all I have. Enjoy your day. Comment, like, subscribe. Stay keto.